And hundreds of homes are still in the dark this evening after those severe storms that swept through our area yesterday. So go ahead and take a look at this map. This is from TEP. As you can see, the areas that are affected, they're in red on the screen, showing more than 600 households still without power, mostly near the Catalina Foothills area, and then more than 100 homes near the Vale area without power tonight. TEP says the rocky and hilly terrain has made it difficult for crews to make the necessary repairs in the foothills today. And that's where we find News 4 Tucson's Cristiana Ramos with more on how residents are holding up. Cristiana. Well, we've seen many residents with packed bags leaving to find a cool place to stay for the night. TEP says power will not fully be restored until tomorrow. You can see behind me here, crews along with the Sheriff's Department is out here trying to make those repairs. They've been out here all day long. The Red Cross even opening an overnight cooling center over at the Catalina Magnet High School. More than 24 hours. Thousands have been in the dark and with no AC. My son lives in a house uh, off of Kolb and we'll probably just stay there for the night because uh, we're not going to endure another night without air conditioning. Yeah, it's hot. I would, it, the last I looked, it's 88 in our, in our unit. <laughs> He's panting, so he knows it's hot. Strong storms Monday producing wind gusts upwards of 70 miles per hour knocking down several power poles along Campbell Avenue in the Catalina foothills. It was um, very windy and the color of the sky looked like a, a little tornado was coming. Um, there was hail at one point. Um, I could feel the, the windows like shake a little. Because Campbell Avenue has been closed down all day today, people have had to hike up and down this hill just to get to their apartments and some of their cars are stuck up there. The power lines were down, uh, so you couldn't drive through into the driveway. At one point, 11,000 people were without electricity. Most have now had their power restored, and TEP says it expects to have all power back on by Wednesday. Meantime, there are still people having to find a cool place to stay. We're all moving together with the dog, <laughs> my bike, everything that you know we need. Um, and we're going to go to a hotel for a few nights. The Red Cross setting up an overnight cooling center at a nearby high school for anyone affected by the outage. We do need your help spreading this information. If you know someone who lives in this area, tell them that there is an overnight cooling center at the Catalina Magnet High School in the main gym. Pets are allowed there. Food and water will be provided. Now, you will need to bring your ID just so that you can verify that you are someone in this area who has been impacted. Now, we still don't know an exact time when power will fully be restored tomorrow. As we learn more, of course, we'll keep you updated. Reporting live in the foothills, Christiana Ramos, News for Tucson.